an enchanting, intact forest landscape. A habitat with unique flora and fauna. A place with amazing nature in East Kalimantan, a province of Indonesian Borneo. This is the Lasan River Protected Forest, known in Indonesian as the Hutan Lindung Sungai Lasan. Located in the Kalai district of the Barau Regency in East Kalimantan, this 11,000 hectare forest area represents Borneo's tropical forest features. This forest is rich in biodiversity and full of exciting wildlife to enjoy. The Lasan River Protection Forest is home to 200 flora species, 52 species of mammals, including the Bornean orangutan, 180 species of birds, and 30 species of reptiles and amphibians. The Lasan River Protection Forest is currently managed by the West Barau Forest Management Union, known in Indonesian as Kapeha Barau Barat. Previously, this forest was a production forest. However, given the high biodiversity of the forest, the Nature Conservancy proposed the status of this forest be changed to a protected forest. Due to its intact forest and high biodiversity, since 2017, Yayasan Aparasi Wallacea Terpadu, or the Operation Wallacea Trust Foundation, has facilitated the development of the forest as an international ecotourism destination which is managed by the nearby village and operated by the village business unit, known as Bumtam, or more popularly, Bumdes. In collaboration with the UK-based ecotourism company, Operation Wallacea, ecotourism at the Lasan River Protection Forest began in 2019, bringing hundreds of foreign high school students and their teachers to learn from young and senior international scientists from all over the world. So this year we brought out 140 students and their teachers from schools all over the world, including Japan, UK, Australia, Denmark and Sweden. Um, as well as completing the surveys, it's also a really good eye-opening experience for the students, um, learning about the forest and what impacts they have even from other countries on uh, uh, cultures like this and learning about the Dayak culture um, and getting to speak with the guides and form a really close bond with the local community here as well. Ecotourism operates in June and July during the European summer holidays. Operation Wallacea Trust has collaborated with the Lasan Dayak Village, which is located upriver from the forest site, to host students before they embark on their journey. On the first day of arrival, before entering the protected forest, students live together with the Dayak community, where they can learn the life and culture of indigenous people. On the morning of the second day, students travel by canoe along the Lasan River to the Lajak base camp at the forest site. On their journey downriver, students have the opportunity to enjoy the natural river scenery and may see exciting wildlife on the riverbanks or overhead. Camp Leja, which was built by the Nature Conservancy about 10 years ago, is used as a camp in the forest. This camp is equipped with lecturing, sleeping, dining, and bathing areas. 
To accommodate increasing student visitors, a new camp will be established in the near future. This camp will be located nearby another village so as to expand the benefits of the ecotourism. Here, students stay for five days, from Monday to Friday. The main activity in this ecotourism is training on jungle survival skills and scientific surveys on forest ecology and biodiversity. In their training, students survey forest ecology, learning how to collect, input, and process data while understanding the mutual relationship among forest trees, wildlife, and humans. Hearing nature's voice, observing wildlife calls and behaviors during the morning, the days and nights here are exciting and striking. Under intensive supervision by scientists from world-class universities abroad and in Indonesia, students explore the Sungai Lasan Protected Forest. Students observe many flora and fauna, including the orangutan, which can be seen through direct encounters and by observing their nests. Students also observe butterflies, herpetofauna, and the charming Borneo birds. Inventarisasi kupu-kupu yang berada di hutan lindung Sungai Lesan. Kami mengkoleksi berbagai jenis kupu-kupu dengan menggunakan metode perangkap kupu-kupu dan juga jaring kupu-kupu. Di sini kami juga mempelajari bagaimana cara mengidentifikasi kupu-kupu dan sejauh ini selama lima minggu kami sudah mendapatkan lebih kurang 90 jenis kupu-kupu. The Sungai Lasan protected forest and its habitat are indeed enchanting, serving unforgettable lessons and experiences. So the Lesson Protection Forest is an awesome site for our students to be to learn about biodiversity. There's a huge, huge number of species. Um, we've been working with the local community here and the guides have put together a species list that can be used to promote ecotourism outside of the Operation Wallace season. Um, and having that list of all the species here is awesome. Community-based scientific ecotourism in the forest is so meaningful to the local community. Apart from increasing income, this ecotourism also enhances community participation in forest conservation and management. The success of ecotourism will certainly foster the love and ownership of the local community to their forest. Dengan adanya kegiatan uh, wisata ini, ekonomi masyarakat semakin meningkat. Selain daripada masyarakat mendapat manfaat ekonomi dari dari uh, kegiatan ekowisata ini, kita tentunya berharap uh, hutan terus terjaga. Karena masyarakat ini dengan adanya kegiatan wisata ini, mereka sudah merasa mendapat keuntungan. Mereka tidak perlu lagi berpikir harus ke hutan, uh, misalnya berburu atau apa lain sebagainya, karena mereka sibuk dengan mereka merasa sudah cukup dengan pendapatan mereka uh, di kegiatan ekowisata tersebut. Dengan adanya kunjungan wisata adik-adik dari Eropa apa libur masa liburan musim panas ini dampak positifnya kita harapkan mengangkat ekonomi masyarakat. Nah kemudian apabila ini sudah berjalan dengan baik tentunya mereka tidak akan berpikir lagi akan menebang-nebang pohon dan tidak akan tertarik atau terpengaruh ya. untuk mengkonversi hutan menjadi tambang dengan kebun kelapa sawit. Ecotourism activities are expected to be key efforts to protect the Sungai Lasan protected forest, which is now under serious pressure, especially from threats to convert the forest to large-scale oil palm plantations. The key important strategy to protect the remaining forests in Indonesia from conversion like oil palm or mining is by empowering local community to use the environmental surfaces of the forest. This could be water, carbon stock, and ecotourism. In 2014, Yayasan Operasi Walasya Terpadu received support from Tropical Forest Conservation Act Kalimantan program to facilitate the empowerment of local community to protect lesan protection forest. Considering the marketable environmental surface of the lesan protection forest, we choose ecotourism as the best choice 
to involve local community to protect their forest. However, developing ecotourism is not so easy. This is not only dependent on the biodiversity of the forest. It is not a matter of developing a building, developing road, but how to market the potential biodiversity and the potential beautiful scenery of the forest. In response to this, we collaborate with Operation Walase as an international tour operator to market lesson protection forest to Asia, to, to Europe, and to Australia. The Operation Wallace Air Trust, Owete, has set up this, this whole site. It's properly protected. It's got a lot of information. There's a lot of awareness about it. And it's now ready just to package so that people that are going at the moment to Derawan Island can now come and spend a night in the forest and wake up hearing gibbons calling or go and see orangutans in the wild. Without the work of Owete and work in the community to get them ready, none of this would be impossible. It's absolutely crucial. Establishing ecotourism is not an easy task. It requires strong and continuous collaborative management that involves multi-sectoral collaboration between government, the private sector, NGOs, local communities, and especially requires ecotourism operators who can promote the Sungai Lasan protected forest at the international level. Harapan ke depan dalam ekowisata hutan lindung Sungai Lasan ini, semua yang terlibat, baik langsung maupun tidak langsung, seperti pemerintah daerah, pemerintah provinsi, dan pemerintah pusat, serta organisasi terkait lainnya, memberikan dukungan kepada masyarakat sekitar hutan, kawasan hutan, dan pendamping tentang bagaimana ekowisata di hutan lindung Sungai Lasan dapat dipertahankan kunjungan wisatanya, bahkan ditingkatkan jumlahnya. Tapi yang tidak kalah pentingnya, hutan tetap lestari, masyarakat kesejahteraannya bisa ditingkatkan. Ecotourism is the most important meeting point between using environmental service and developing sustainable livelihood for local community. In condition, if the income stream from ecotourism will happen for the whole years, not only one and or two months. Considering this, we will continue collaborate with the Bureau District Government, with Forest Management Unit, with Village Government, with the BUMDES and local community to work together to intensify our effort to promote the potential ecotourism in the site in such a way that the income stream from ecotourism is not only one in two months but for the whole years it seems to be this is the key choice to conserve this area and to avoid the conversion to oil pump plantation. It's now been proven that ecotourism is the key to helping communities protect their forests. This is a strategic effort to involve local communities in order to save the remaining forest for the future of our one earth. <laughs>